Hey, Dawn back. Okay, so, well, I wired it up all funky so I could do a test. I disconnected the heating element, got it plugged in to the live power strip, and the, as I expected, motor just doesn't want to do anything. And uh, what I did was I took, I took the, uh, I don't want to touch any of that. Screwdriver is not a good thing, but I'm not touching none of it, but uh, that's all hot right now. So I took where that hole is over there, so I took out the uh, everything from this red wire, and then I just put it on the back side of this one. And my light's turned off up, side, up, up top because I needed, it wouldn't reach down here. But I just have the uh, heating element disconnected at both ends, and it's just, you know, dangling in there. But uh, I don't know if you can even see it at all. But uh, nothing. So evidently, I have a bad motor. I did a early, well, early on. I did a continuity test to see if, like, there was a open circuit in the motor, and it didn't. Uh, it beeped just fine, like you know, like it's a complete circuit. And I'm definitely no expert on motor testing. I just kind of know the basics, but uh, just don't understand what well, make it go bad but and usually with a, a motor like this type of a motor any kind of a motor electric ac dc usually what happens is bushings wear out uh, brushes wear out you know they just don't want to turn they build up resistance and then maybe they might burn up the windings because of that but i just don't get why the windings would burn up i had thought that uh, you know the uh, there's a lot of dust in the uh, vents of the cover. And I thought, well, it, it, it got it and made the heater overheat and it burned that thermal fuse. Uh, but when I found out the motor's bad, this one is anyway, and the other one, it tries to work, but it doesn't work. I guess I'll take it apart too, because maybe if I, you know, who knows. So anyway, um, <coughs> if uh, evidently the motor went bad, and then that caused the thermal fuse to blow, is what I'm guessing. So, uh, sure is an aggravating $63 lesson twice because I bought this whole thing once and put it in. Like I said, well, that time it was okay. I mean, you know, I got 10, around, I think around 15 years out of the first one. And then when I looked and looked, I realized, you know, the exact same thing again. I wanted to get something different if I could, but they cost a lot more, and they, they won't fit the, my, I have to redo the sheetrock in the ceiling to replace the box. And this just snap. it's a plug and play, it just snaps in to the old box, so that was really good, you know. But, then it only lasted about a year, year and a half, so. Uh... <coughs> It's about been about two years now, but uh, last whole last winter we went with a, just a, you know, a little uh, portable heater, uh, portable whatever, space heater, space heater is what they call them, you know, eight, not portable as in you know butane or propane or whatever, but as a space heater you plug in you know to the 110 volt, and uh, it's a pain to do that, you know, it doesn't bother me because I don't I use it I. I I can jump in the shower and the steam keeps me warm until I get get out, you know. And then I'm gone. I don't stay in there, so. But if you take a bath, it freezes you, you know. Okay, so. Bad motor. I think I'll do a continuity test, but I can't do that and do a video. It takes five hands and I don't only got two. Alright, bye.